In this next group of lessons, we're going to be moving a little faster and learning a little bit more. Now that you know how to play some, we can explore some different ideas. In this lesson, we're going to learn two new chords. We're going to learn a right hand picking style, our first one, and we're going to learn a really nice song called How Can I Keep From Singing. Now let's look at our new chords first. The first one is F. Now the F chord could present a few challenges, but you'll get it if you just stay with it. Now your first finger is going to be pressing on two strings this time, not just one, but two, the B and the high E string, the first fret. Your second finger is going to be here on the second fret of the G string, and your third finger is on the third fret of the D string. Now remember C looks like this. So F, you bring these two over and you lay this one down. Let's just play those four strings from the D string to the high E string. Ready? Go. F. Now F's going to take a little time, so you're going to have to be patient with yourself. Okay? Now you can play the A string there, but I would stay off of the low E string. So you could play with the A or not. Okay, now that's F. Let's take a look at the chord diagram. Now you can see that I've X'd out the low E string there, and you're going to put your first finger across two strings. Now this is the first time we've done that, so you're really going to have to work on it, and especially not touch the neighbor strings. Now let's try that again. First finger, second finger, third finger. Okay, F. Really is going to take a little work. Now the next chord we're going to learn is B minor. I've had a lot of students ask me for an easy version of the B minor chord. So here it is. Actually, it's B minor 7th, but let's go ahead and give it a try. 1st finger, 2nd fret, A string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, G string, and 3rd finger, 2nd fret, high E string. Don't play the low E string for this chord, okay? Let's try the other five. Got it? Here we go. Yeah. B minor going to call it B minor, but its name actually is B minor 7th. B minor. Now let's take a look at the chord diagram of B minor. I've X'd out the low E string, so don't play that. We're calling it B minor, but it's really B minor 7. Now our picking style is going to use our thumb first finger, second finger, and third finger. These are the fingers used in picking the guitar, mostly. Sometimes someone uses the little finger, but not really too often. So let's pluck the string with our thumb. Let's pluck the first finger there on the G string, second finger on the B string, third finger on the E string. Okay, let's do that again. Go. Good. One more time. One more time. Good. Now let's make a G chord with our left hand and let's do that. Ready? Go. Good. One more time. Okay, now let's pick with the thumb. First finger. And then these two fingers together. And then do your first finger again. Now let's try that.
This is the picking style for the song. You're going to need to practice this for a while. Take some time before we do the song and get used to this. Now, let's try a D chord. Make the D with your left hand. The thumb will now be on the D string and it'll be the same top strings with our fingers. Go. Good. Now let's try a, an E minor chord. We're going to use the E string and the top three strings. Go. Good. Now let's try a C chord. Make your C and your thumb will be down the A string. Ready? Go. Good. Let's try an A minor chord. A string with the thumb. Go. Good. Now let's try the B minor chord, our new chord, with the thumb here. Very good. Now, let's take a look at how we write this, the right hand on a piece of paper so you could see what this looks like. So this is how we write down the right hand. The P is the thumb, a little I of the index, little M the middle finger, and a little A the ring finger. It's in, Sp it's in the Spanish language because uh, classical guitar has always been traditionally written in Spanish. So when we write the right hand, we don't use numbers, we use letters. Now let's take a look at our song and how I would say we are going to pick this one. So we use the thumb, then the index, then the middle and ring together, and we go back and play the index. The thumb, the index, the middle and ring together, and back with the index. In fact, each of those is a group of four, and there's four beats per measure. We're going to do this two times in a measure, and I'll show you how we do it. Before we look at that right hand, let's look at the chords to the song. The E minor and the D will be for two beats each. After we do those chords, we're going to strum these chords. Two F's, two C's, and four G's, right in the beat. Now here are the words, and there's one more little part of the words. <laughs> 